हेलो एवरी वन सो आई एम मेकिंग अ वीडियो ऑन एफ एफ एम पैग आफ्टर अ वाइल नाउ रिसेंटली आई शोड आई थिंक आई शोन दिस फ्यू टाइम्स आई यूज एफ एफ एम पैग फॉर डूइंग प्लेंटी ऑफ थिंग्स एंड ऑफकोर्स नो मेकिंग वीडियोज विच आई एम डूइंग राइट नाउ ऑल्सो मेकिंग माई थम नेल्स ऑल्सो डूइंग कन्वर्जन ऑफ फाइल्स ऑल्सो मेकिंग वीडियोज फ्राम इमेजेस extracting extracting audio but of course uh, live streaming is also one really important thing that i do and that i recently started playing with now not recently but in fact last year but uh, i never really did live streaming uh, regularly now thing is that when you're doing live streaming uh, when i was doing live streaming what i was doing is i was basically streaming two images with uh, some text on the on 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 the output you know the the, the stream along with the, the visual uh, uh visualizer basically and uh, this was working great on my local computer but recently if you if you noticed i started experimenting and playing with oracle free servers and uh, i thought i'll probably you know do the same thing maybe run a 24 by 7 live stream on oracle uh, free uh, tier servers and it worked but uh, it was not really performing well there was some buffering and i thought i'll i'll probably try to improve the uh the the script but there was nothing wrong with the script the problem was that uh, because the script was doing too much it was uh, looking at two images then uh, making a video with the visualizer and then also uh taking input from uh, the uh song that i was playing like you know the mp3 file and then of course making mp4 not really mp4 but flv so i think it was doing a bit too much so what i did i simplified it and i basically made uh, <coughs> videos with the visualizer uh, so basically uh, what i started with i started with the uh, one uh, short video like a 5 second 10 second video clip which is basically this animation in the background which is not really you know animation but it's basically two images with some fading effect and then i was uh, able to combine the mp3 file with that particular uh, uh, video without any audio so basically i i ended up having uh, multiple mp4 files with the same animation but the song was different and then i thought i'll prob- probably uh, rewrite the script to simply loop or basically go through uh, all the videos in a directory stream them and then uh, you know do it over and over again and uh, i was looking for the best way of doing it because in this particular in this approach uh, i think uh, ffmpeg was not really doing too much because uh, the audio or the the video file the mp4 file was already there uh, encoded i guess uh, there was no i mean i don't really think uh, yes there is a conversion happening but uh, this way it worked for me uh, and i was able to stream without any buffering and i'll probably show you the script no not probably i'll i'll show you the script so this is a script and what you need to do the main thing that is happening here is i mean we all know that using ffmpeg you can uh, uh, loop through me- m- media files uh, in a directory and basically you need to use something like this concat hyphen i and when you pass in the file name which is file.txt or whatever file name that you have in the file you need to basically list all the files that you want to work on and in this case of course we are doing this uh, stream loop and uh, using this re option i think it will loop through those files in our directory and uh, you know the file and the main thing is that the file should contain the list of all the videos so what you can do is you can actually uh, create a file and in the file you have to start with this uh, line ffconcad version 1.0 i think it is mentioned somewhere in the documentation but uh, you have to do it and then list all the files that you want to a uh, stream like video 1.mp3 video 2.mp3 video 3.m not mp3 mp4 and you can do that with the help of you know simple shell script just you know just print all the files that you have in the directory and then you know just write echo and then you know basically you can you, you can do it without uh, doing it manually if you have like too many files too many mp4 files but in the end you have to specify the actual uh, file name uh, again so that in a way it is like a loop and it looks a bit fragile solution but it works and uh, the rest of the script is of course not very complicated it is in fact the simplified version 
of the script that I had earlier. So right now, of course, we have the filter complex and the filter complex is actually the only thing which is a bit dynamic here is that if you look at the script, I'm changing the text file, you know, because I want to have a dif different message or maybe I can change the content of the text file using another script, which I do. So sometimes I, I stream questions like question and then I stream all the answers and then I display the right answers like, a, you know, a quiz or a test, live test. Uh, I mean, people are not really interacting, but they can take a look. So basically, the thing the thing is that uh, the text is changing, and that text is actually nothing but uh, coming from a text file, and uh, rest of the things are not different from the original script. So the main thing is that you can actually stream videos from a directory in a loop uh, using this uh, method. And I thought I'll probably share it with all of you. Maybe you want to do it. Um, and the, I mean, it is not really perfect yet because uh, maybe it's a problem with the server because after a while, FMPEG stops for some reason, maybe after two hours or three hours. And what I need to do is I need to maybe write another script to restart it or maybe just uh, combine the whole script in a while loop and look for the error message. If there is, if there is any error, just start, start the script again or keep on running it unless you cancel it. So that is some so so that that is something I need to you know fix and worry about, but otherwise I'm quite happy with this setup and I thought I'll probably share it with all of you. So that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye.